we're unspottable. What are you gonna do about it? Oh, I'm totally spotted on this trailer. Holy shit, that's black. White power. What log book? I didn't break that. Have you had a chance to think about that raise? I gotta go spot something. Oh fuck, I broke it. Holy shit, that's heavy, but I got this. I hope Blaine didn't see that. Yeah, it's supposed to do that, it's doing a burn. Spotswell is my middle name. I got a permit. Matter of fact, I got two, it's so heavy. Do you have something that needs spotted? Now, other than these videos are old, I'll just comment on them a little bit here and fill in a lot of blanks because I didn't do a lot of talking. I was too shy. I've been shy my whole life and uh, it's about time I stop being shy. So <laughs> my new videos are much better, obviously, than uh, my old ones. Um, today it's uh, armor rig which we used to keep those guys used to sit in our yard at road train. It's a tri-tri service rig. It's pretty tall and at times was like 5.6 meters tall, which is the downfall of hauling a service rig on 48 wheel low boy instead of a double drop, which puts you at a deficit of being like another 10 to 12 feet longer, which it's already tight getting around the range roads with 48 wheels as it is. So having at legal height is a disadvantage of getting into spots. Today we're just going to take a swing back into the past, a blast, reverse. We're jumping in the DeLorean, we're going to hit 88 kilometers an hour. No, that wasn't kilometers, that was miles per hour. Which was its top speed of the day, actually. And uh, we're going to revisit road train days. I'm going to start posting these on the weekends because... Uh, I just have some dead space sometimes. I haven't worked for a couple days, so. And if I don't do something with them, I'll do nothing. And I'll sit on them so long, then I'll be really embarrassed to show them because they're, uh. Let's face it, it's GoPro Hero 3. It's junk. Even though I only have the 7 now, and then. On top of the other stuff I have, I wish I started making videos a long time ago because there's a lot of that uh, it would have seen and would have been cool to capture a lot of the stuff that I did over the years at Road Train but unfortunately I never thought about it, never dreamt of it until just one day I'm like Light bulb. I can't find any content on YouTube that I want to watch that interests me about trucking it was lame, it's like not that there's anything against you guys that run the highway, pull reefer, whatever, like, uh, it's too mundane for me. I need change all the time. I have attention deficit disorder, so I couldn't have a job where, like, I want to do logging, but I might be scared that I might get bored of hauling logs every day. But maybe the location will change, and then I'm like, well, mountaintop logging, maybe some off-road Pacificas some P16, some fats, if that stuff even still exists. The problem with the guys that have those companies, they don't have the internet, they don't have a website, I can't look for a job, so... I like off-road, and I like doing lots of different stuff. That's why I picked this job. So, I'm gonna share it. And that's where I was when I was watching YouTube, and I was like, hmm, these guys make money trucking channels and I'm like it's not that great some of it's alright I'm like if there's room for them there's room for me so here it is
Let's go.
starting to use my super duper. Look at that, you get right into my pores. Back up, back up! <sighs> so yeah, it's not so much that I don't... Yeah, who doesn't like reminiscing, right? Like, I like to go back in the past. <sighs> it's kind of sad sometimes. Um, you know, it was... I hope it's not going to be the best part of my trucking career because I have a lot left in me gift. Um, but it was some great times. I wish I would have started making videos a long time ago and captured a lot of stuff like uh, maybe I could have caught breaking my neck. There was a time where I rolled a cat off the side of the wheeler one time. Not proud of it. It's when I was young and dumb. We talked about this before. And uh, I had a side boom, a D8 side boom for pipeline, open cab. We put it, it was probably my first chunk of real yellow that I've had and I'm always excited about hauling equipment and I put that thing on there and it wasn't, it wasn't right so I hopped right up there I'm like oh I know how to run these and uh, the, the wheeler <laughs> was sagging a little bit so I was just gonna back it up and turn and then uh, just drive it back ahead and just move it over like a foot or whatever right I'm like, oh, no problem, I know how to run these, and yeah. The one thing I didn't learn about was uncorked machines on icy surfaces. Which, yeah. I don't even know where I'm going with this, but that would have been pretty epic to be able to see that on video, and I could go back and see that. Because, traumatic? Lucky to be alive. It's a good thing the cat only went off the side and stopped. Because if it went completely over it would have been uh, game over and I ended up broke I broke my neck vertebrae whatever I rigged I ripped out all the ligaments at first they're like no oh, there's nothing wrong with you and then they, it was all deep tissue and I tore all the muscle away from the ligaments and the vertebrae I don't even remember which one anymore but they're like oh you're lucky you're still allowed to breathe and you're not paralyzed from the waist or from the neck down and I'm like oh, that's pretty traumatic because I did go back to work for like 24 hours reloaded another cat took it to a derailment and then came back home after and then went to the hospital that's how crazy I was about just hauling some equipment I'm like oh my neck's sore but I'll finish it because I'm I'm a trooper that's how I am so could have been way worse but anyways so yeah, painful to watch a little bit because it was like I was at the top of road train. The only thing is is that the work wasn't there anymore. It was getting pretty sad there at times. Grim, still keeping somewhat busy. The Texas bed is probably one of the more busy trucks in Alberta, which isn't the case here at Cyprus. It hasn't been that busy, but... All those people that used to call, like I still do a lot of work for a lot of those guys, they're not calling at all. So it's a good thing we have other stuff. Diversification is the only way a trucking company is going to live nowadays. Because that oil is going to be up and down, up and down, up and down, if it's going to be up at all, period, anymore. So <sighs> sad to see because uh, that truck was supposed to be bought by my boss at the auction, but... It ended up going for way too much. It ended up selling that for about 260, and uh, that's damn near new. We paid 225 for the truck the chassis from Kenworth, um, and then we paid another 60 for bump, oil field rig up, like the push bumper, lights, backup lights, headlights. When we powder coated and rhino lined the inside of those fenders, um, the whole back setup that was a Braden's RN90, which I think is a 45 ton, and then a 20,000 pound number two. Um, that was all fully hydraulic, lift up, lift down, air locks on everything. You didn't have to do nothing. You just you had to get out to unlatch the fifth wheel and put in the pins. I was like, 
How can I get it so my deck pins can just hydraulically like because that would have been the cat's ass, but you still got to get out and unhook the trailer, so <sighs> somehow, somewhere, but yeah, it actually, I don't know for sure, I need to ask somebody else, because I know a couple of the guys watched the sale, and I think it was actually the highest priced item sold at the auction was that truck, even our pickers that, you know, they ended up there, it's like a 1.5 truck. I don't know what happened there. I think the battery just died. But anyways, our pickers. You're like looking at 1.5 for a fully rigged national, 38 ton, 40, 45 ton with uh, one trailer. It's usually around 1.5 when prices were maxed out. So that's pretty sad. And those trucks were only getting like 200, 240. And there was nothing really special about our road train trucks, like they weren't... We always had a lot of the fiberglass C5 hoods, single headlight, their newest one, so it wasn't a real looker, like it was an alright truck. Some people didn't like it. Bryce. This truck isn't good enough for me. Then he was all mad that I got the cool looking C5, and he didn't. Because that really pissed him off. Such a baby. But anyways, all right, well, that was pretty cool. Service rig, loaded in a road trans yard there. We went out Highway 11, out to Rocky Mountain House, to the Crimson Lake Road, to the Buster Creek Chain Up area where we would unload right at the bottom of the, is that 994 nine, Hill, I do believe. I haven't been out there for eons either now since I probably left road train. And uh, I turned around right at the very bottom, which is sometimes can be tight because they don't plow the snow properly and sometimes you gotta throw on a chat set of chains we used to chain up and go up to the top of the hill into the compressor throw on a set go up there go into the um, compressor location up top of the hill on the left there right at I think it's like one maybe it's zero whatever right at the top of the hill and go in there and turn around and <laughs> would never stop in and talk to anybody, just go in there and start turning around, they'd be like, people would be looking, like, yeah, we're just turning around, you don't want to give us a place to turn around on this joint, it's going to take one. But anyways, thanks for watching, and uh, I'm going to keep throwing these up on weekends if I got spare time to do so. Um, I still got, you know, my hands are full with trying to make three videos a week. And that takes up quite a bit of time. Sometimes I can spend anywhere on the upwards of uh, five to eight hours per video from start to finish. It's not I'm not sitting at the computer the whole time, but autofocus. Hello. Sometimes time consuming because my computer's kind of old. So if I start adding a lot of effects and doing stuff, I know you guys don't see it, but behind the scenes there's extra stuff going on. So yeah, you know, I'm saving up. Gonna buy a new one, but I'm around just shy of four grand to buy a new computer so I can get a lot of the newer programs so I can just even blow your socks off even more. Step it up to the next level. Alright, well, stay tuned. Thanks for watching.